Hi guys, welcome to episode 10 of Mandy Pine Cone Crafts. Today is Thursday, March 3rd, 2016. Um, I hope everybody's had a good week and welcome to all new viewers and welcome back to all returning viewers. I'm Amanda. Um, you can find me at Mandy Pine Cone on Instagram and Ravelry and you can also find the group on Ravelry under Mandy Pinecone Crafts. Um, you can find the show notes there um, and links to anything um, that I talk about. I um, And that's where any of our giveaways will be. Um, today I am drinking Main Squeeze by David C. Um, so, and also in the group, you can find the introductions thread. And so this week we had one person introduce themselves. It's Pin Doll, um, from Massachusetts. So welcome. Um, so let's get started with the, uh, knitting. Um, it's mostly knitting this week. Um, I do have one finished object. It is my... Abigail Shawl by Rachel Paulsdell. She is the lovely dyer behind Night Owl Fibers. It is this lovely triangle lace shawl. Um, I have was test knitting the pattern for her. Um, so it's this, it's got um, a lace and garter sections with a lovely pico bind off um it's a mine is measuring about six feet wide by two two feet deep um i did do an extra lace repeat at the bottom because i had extra yarn um and i wanted to use up all of it uh, i knit it on size six four millimeter needles and it's out of fiber stash in the pumpkin princess colorway so it does have um it's our twinkle toe uh, twinkle toe yeah twinkle toes base so it has some sparkle to it and it, the camera's not picking up the sparkle it's a love I like how um it knit up um last I recorded I think I was on the fourth repeat up here. I just finished that so I had did quite a bit. So I did about this in about five days. Um, I finished it Friday morning doing the Pico bind off Friday morning before I went to work. Um, so there's that. Um, because Rachel was so um, generous offering me asking me to test knit this pattern I'd love to give away a um, pattern to a viewer so in the group I'm going to open up a giveaway thread for it you have to be a member of the group um, I want to know what yarn from your stash you would use to knit um, and preferably like to see pictures if not link me to um the yarn because I want to see what other people would knit this out of. I know Selma um, of the Tangled Skeins CA or not Tangled, two Tangled Skeins um, also test knit this and she did it in a lovely lilac color um, which is more solid. I, li I'm a, I like a lot more color um, so this is a nice going to be a nice lacy slimmer shawl for me um there's that um the next thing i worked on was my pumpkin or not frosted but my princess clock from clouds factory um this week or 
the last, since I recorded last, um, I've done Jasmine, Pocahontas, Mulan, All But Her Skin, and then started Tiana. I just have her hair to really do, and then some dark green through here. I also did the eyes in Snow White, um, Sleeping Beauty, Ariel, and Belle. Finished up the water and then put some of the glitter in through here. And then um, a couple people had um, asked if I was actually going to finish it up as a clock. So I've got the clock face in, but I'm once I finish, I'm actually going to put um, a backing cloth on this with probably some stabilizer and a piece of cardboard to hold the clock because it's got a little bit of movement that I'm not liking. Um, and this will go in my craft room when I get it done. I'm debating on spray painting the clock, the hoop. I'm either going to do it in a white or a chocolate brown. My craft room, once I clean it, I will do, do a tour of it. It is shades of pink. There's probably, I think, 20 different shades of pink in there right now because I have each piece of furniture painted a different color. Um, and just this rich chocolate brown just to um, tone down the Pepto-Bismol effect that it has, as my lovely husband puts. Um, so that was what I worked on after I finished the shawl. Um, that went to work Friday, I think Saturday, and then I've done a little bit when I've come home from work. Um, the next thing is my Flax Light by Tin Can Knits. It is knit out of Madeline Tosh, Tosh Marina Light in the Pop Rocks colorway. What I figured out this week, um, ooh, I have needles off. I have stitches off the needles. It's not good. I think I got them all. Um, is that I actually don't have to use the white that I was planning on at the bottom. I got to... Where is it? Ah, right here. I've The first skein I ran out about here and that's it of the body. I just got the ribbing left to do once I go find where I put my two and a half millimeter needles, which are a three mil or US two and a half, which are three millimeter needles. Um, right now it's sitting on fives, which are a 3.75. Um, I've got when you guys saw it last, I was down here, and that's probably about eight inches of knitting done this since Saturday night. Because I don't think I chatted Friday. No, because I closed Friday night. Um, and then the progress keeper here is a cupcake from Vintage Rose. And then I've, for the beginning of my row, I have. Um, Cupid from Mika Mika. The rest of the set I'll show you guys in stash. Um, so yeah, I've got a, the ribbing on the bottom and a sleeve left to go. Um, and I think I'm going to rip out the ribbing on this sleeve. I'm not, I didn't switch down to the two and a halfs and I should have. So I'm going to rip down, out this and re knit it. Um, it's living in a Tangled Skein CA bag that um, out of some, ro this is her shawl size. It's out of some rose fabric with pink chevrons on the inside. Um, there's that. Um, the next thing I actually worked on was my Shonu Guru socks, which I had finished the first one last time you guys saw it. And so yesterday morning, cast on the second sock. And yes, they don't match. And um, 
Tanya doesn't care. I had already asked that question. Um, and so the progress keeper on this is another vintage rose. It's a lovely book. And the yarn is Nato Fibers. And the My Favorite Things color. Um, and that's the what I have left of it. Um, and it's also in a Tangled Skin CI bag. And I'm knitting these on size 1 2.25 millimeter needles. And then last thing that I'm working on, I cast on my March project. I cast it on, I think, Saturday night when I just wanted to cast something on. And then I cast on the ribbing. It's going to be the Glitter Socks by Dana Gervais. Um, it, she's a featured designer for Winter Camp. Um, so I'm, and I'm also, this yarn has a bunch of yellow in it. So yellow, um, the colors for March are yellow and green. So I'm, um, and the project theme is for your hands or feet. So it's out of this lovely London's laces in the Clara, Clara's garden colorway. And then there's the, uh, nope, upside down. It's out of shepherd, it's in the shepherd sock base. So, um, I cast, and then I'm using my Addy Turbo size zeros, which are a, zeros are two millimeter. Um, and again, another, Tangled Skin CA bag. Um, there is a coupon code um, for Pinecone15 um, in Sue's uh, Sue shop. For, you get 15% off. It's $10 or more purchase. She just put in some new bags, um, I think over the weekend, in some new stitch marker sets that she has. Um, so go check her shop out. Um, there is a link in the show notes for it. Also, while you're in the Ravelry group, there, I'm also going to do another giveaway for five copies of the Fish Lips Kiss Heel, which is my go-to heel. Um, for my socks, I've done a couple afterthoughts, didn't like how they fit, and I think I've done one guess it. Um, still, that was too finicky for me. Um, heel flap and guess it uh, was just too finicky for me. I was not enjoying it. So um, there's that. I'm doing this because the designer sock therapy of the pattern is going through or has stage three breast cancer. Um, so I want um, a bunch of podcasters are giving away the pattern so she can go visit some family. Um, and I just thought it was a great cause to get behind. So um, just go into the thread and post why you like knitting socks. Um, or if you haven't knit socks, why you want to start knitting socks. Um, I will open up that thread and the thread for the shawl giveaway um, this afternoon. Um, um, yeah, so I'll post those this afternoon. So let's get into um, stash. The first, I've got a couple different... Um, Things that came in this week, um, it just, it seems like a lot because you can't see the lovely pile that's sitting here. The first thing was some minis from my friend Tanya. She sent me some knit picks, some Patton's Croy, and um, little minis for um, my um, sock yarn blanket. Um, I really love this color. It's got the hot pinks that I love. Um, she labeled just about all of them for you. Um, she also sent 
um, some teas because um, with the group of us, if we send a package, it's including teas included. It's a given. It's got, I've got a couple different ones. I've got a lemon. I've got a honey and ginger. Um, one of my favorites, which is the four o'clock pink lemonade. I so wanted to break into this the other day, but didn't. Um, there's French vanilla, there's cranberry apple, and then there's orange sherbet. So those will get added to my tea stash later today. Also included she, um, was a couple of different candies that we can't get here in the States. Um, most of all but one is actually gone. Um, she sent Smarties, which are like M&Ms to us, but a little bit bigger. Um, what we call Smarties, they call Rockets. Um, no clue why, but it was interesting to see both of them side by side. She also sent a coffee crisp and then a something caramel, um, which were all amazing. I enjoyed them. The candy, as soon as I opened the package, I didn't even get a chance to actually take a picture before candy was disappearing because my husband wanted something sweet um, right then and couldn't wait. <laughs> um, the next thing that came in was the stitch markers from Mika Mika, which is Shamika. Um, I picked up her Valentine's Day set. Um, so they have the Cupid that is on my sweater along with these hearts which have like um some really nice scroll work if I can get them to show up and they all have different colored um beads on it I really love um hearts as you can actually see on my engagement ring um so that's I've like those so I had to get this set um so there was that the next thing that came in um which I was more than happy to find that it finally arrived it shipped on the um third of February from Canada I finally received it I think on the first um it's this lovely skein of ancient arts um, it's in the Water Lily colorway, and it is the MCN, which is 70% um, Superwash Merino, 20% Cashmere, 10% Nylon, and it's a DK weight. Um, I had one off of Sarah of the Canadian Knitters podcast, her giveaway for the catalog to choose um, a yarn from Ancient Fire, Ancient arts fiber um, so I given her a couple color choices in the base I wanted and I told her to pick um, and she couldn't she picked a lovely color I, it's going to be a cow at some point because I keep on wanting to, it's too soft and squishy to put anywhere but around your neck um, I was sitting the day it came in I took it to work to show to my friend Michael um, so I was sitting in the break room with it like this, reading a book and just petting it. And, um, the first thing Michael did when he found it was it had to go down his shirt because, um, which I forgot to take a picture to send to Lynn of the Canadian, um, Lynn of the Two Tangled Skeins podcast, because that's what she always does with, um, giveaway yarns. Um, so Tuesday, also Michael handed me this, which is a skein of Madeline Tosh. It is the BFL sock in the Northeast Kingdom color. This is inspired by a picture of a tree um, in the Northeast Kingdom in the fall. It's got this lovely shades of green, pink, 
um, purple, blue, it's not showing up right. I will have to take a picture and post it in the thread. Um, I've been looking everywhere for this um, color because I grew up in the Northeast Kingdom. The Northeast Kingdom is the eastern, um, northeastern part of Vermont. Um, it's consisting of three counties. Um, and when I saw that Mad Madeline Tosh had done the colorway name Northeast Kingdom, I wanted it. I showed it to Michael about a month ago. Um, because we'd stopped at the only place here in town um, that carries metal and tosh um, and to see if we could get it from them. And it would have been a, I think, 10 to 12 week wait period to get it. Um, so I've thought nothing of it. Um, he had asked what I'd wanted for Valentine's Day because being the running joke, he, I'm his, he's my gay husband, we'll put it that way, um, and he knew I wanted this, but I'd also got a job promotion at work, um, so this is a Valentine's job promotion gift, um, so, yeah, so this will be something, I don't know what, it might just be something that lives in my stash just to pet and look at, because it's not normally... It's not my normal colors, but I'm in love with it. Um, and then the last thing that came in this week was a total surprise to me. Um, I'd opened my front door to grab the mail before I went to work yesterday, and a big box was standing sitting there with my name on it. Trying, and then I was racking my brain to think of what I ordered. Um, because I don't remember ordering anything. What in it was a set of blockers that the um, Lynn's has um, Lynn's fiance um, um, is making um, some plastic resin um, sock blockers and wanted um, and Lynn had asked different people if they would test them out for him um, or be guinea pigs to see how well they shipped and how he could improve the design. Um, so he sent me a set. What I love is the Mandy with the Mickey ears. Um, even though these will probably just get um, hung up on my craft room wall because they're too pretty. Um, but um, I will, when I finish a set of my socks, um, use them to block and see how well they work. Um, they're a nice plastic, um, so thank you again, Lynn, um, for those. That's about it. Um, this week has been, um, that's it for the knitting. So week in review, um, this week has been a, or week and a half actually, it's been a busy week for me. Today is my technically my first day off in God knows how many days now. Um, nine, I think. Um, Sunday was supposed to be a day off for me, but I ended up having to go to work for the meeting, so I was not able to report on Sunday. Um, what the We do um, two all-store meetings a year, once in February, then once again um, early or late summer, early fall. What's really nice about this one is our big, um, really the only thing we raise money for is the musk. We um, do a lot of, um, we try to sell, sell shamrocks for muscular dystrophy to send kids to, um, local kids to camp. Um, so every, for the last probably four yeah, four years um, at our spring um, Ulster meeting, we will have, you can buy these sh uh, shamrocks to um, Pi senior managers. So that's any of our ASM store managers, HR, um, things like that. 
Um, this year, we also got a couple of the department managers and a couple of the specialists to volunteer to be pied also. In the group, I will post a small little, I think it's 30 second video of me um, pieing my friend Michael, who is yellow ZX5 on Ravelry in the host the Gay Knitter podcast um, with two pies um, because I bought one and then my husband um, had given me or told me to buy one with his name on it for Michael because um, Michael has a tendency to get me into trouble when we go out because I spend a lot more than I'm supposed to <laughs> than I should. Um, he's a very good enabler, um, so he wanted to help a really good cause. Um, and then, like I said, I got a promotion at work, so that's going to change my days off. So for the next, um, my I don't know if my days off are going to change next week or in two weeks or in three. Um, so next week I'm probably going to record on Wednesday when I'm off. Um, and then I will see from there um, what days I have off the following week. If I'm on my um, same schedule I am now, I'll probably record on Tuesday. If I'm switch schedule, I'll probably record on Sunday. It all depends on what um, work does um, but what the promotion also means is I don't have to stay after close now um, so on Sundays when I do my um, host the VKN it will probably start between 7 30 and 8 o'clock um, because our store closes at 7 o'clock so I'm out definitely at by 7 o'clock if I'm working that Sunday um, so so if you guys, um, anybody is free Sunday night and wants to um, do a video knit night, I post the link in the group under um, the, it will, it says VKN and then it will give you the date. The link will be somewhere in that, um, in that thread. So come join us if, um, if you feel like it. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, most of what I did on my body of my sweater was during VKNs this week. Um, it's a good place just to sit, knit, and chat. Oh, excuse me, with different um, people. Um, there's a group of us that are regulars on them that will chat six, seven nights a week. Um, but it all depends on everybody's schedule, um, what we're going to do. Um, so... That is about it. Um, if you have any questions for me, um, post it in the Ask Mandy thread on the Ravelry group. Um, and have a good week, everybody. Bye.